Hey everybody and welcome to The Hot Tag with your girl Izzy. Today I am so excited to welcome you to my interview with a star who is truly shining bright in the pro wrestling industry. She's performed on Fest Wrestling, GCW, AEW Dark, and many other promotions. And you better bow down because she is known as the king Ooh. of pro wrestling. She is Kylan King. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, man. It's been a while since I, I've seen you. I know. I'm so excited that you're on the show today, like I said before, because I interviewed you last year in January mm -hmm. where the world decided to go rogue, and now you're on AEW Dark, so the big question is, how are you doing? I am doing pretty, pretty good. Like you said, the world went rogue, and for a second there, it looked pretty scary, but then AEW happened, man, and a lot has changed since the last time I saw you. It's crazy. I know it's like this is going to be a weird interview just like talking about like where we're at now you know I'm I interviewing know. you you're on dark like what the heck and speaking yeah. of AEW Crazy. you made your AEW dark debut last year in May against Penelope Ford and before yeah. you made your debut you were traveling performing on different promotions so from wrestling on independent shows to being on AEW dark at Daily's Place what is the main difference between the two for you personally? You know, it's, I think the whole concept of being on a bigger stage, like mm -hmm. when you go to an indie show, like you usually just have to worry about one camera and then the crowd and that's about it. Um, I remember, I remember the first, when I came out for my match with Penelope, I remember like just walking out like I normally do. And then like, there was a camera right here and a camera right here and a camera right here. And I was like, which one do I look at? It was like, it was a little overwhelming, but thankfully the more you do it, the more you get used to it and mm -hmm. you learn to pick up on things. But I just remember like when I, like I knew they were going to be there, but then when I walked out, I was like, well, <laughs> so yeah. And I feel like I'm so much more aware of my surroundings now because of mm -hmm. that. So that's probably definitely the biggest thing is just learning how to, uh, to find those moments with your cameras a lot more than you we would if you had to be on the indies just you know doing it for a normal show yeah and I totally understand where you're coming from with the cameras because yeah. you know it's you gotta like think like where you gotta look and you want to make sure that you kind of what, what's the word I'm looking for you're like kind of establishing yourself like to the crowd yeah. and the people watching at home I'm sure it's like really hard to get used to but you have obviously like made it easier on yourself and I gotta say one of my favorite matches of you on AEW is when you face Hikaru Shida that match was so good and you two just looked so powerful and strong throughout the oh, match but if you, you had to pick yeah of course but if you had to pick one of your favorite matches or one of your standout matches what would it be you know I've had a couple, um, my personally for me, like when I have a match, the ones that stick with me the most are the ones that like are just really fun to do and like are really enjoyable in the moment. It's not like a, we're going at it, we're going hard, but like we're also remembering to enjoy ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think those matches are the ones that really stick with me the most. And I think in regards to that, my match with Serena D was like, like that, I, I never really got to meet her before. Mm -hmm. And so like, I think that week that we had the match, it was only like the second time I'd gotten to run into her at mm -hmm. AEW. And then we got the match and I was just like, I don't know what to do with myself. This is so awesome. And then the moment we started calling the match, it was just such a breeze. Like, I just remember being at such peace and like knowing like, we've got this, we're gonna kill it. And then just getting in the ring with her, it was just so natural and smooth. Um, and then another match that I really, really loved was my match with Swole, actually, because like, yes, I just, you know, because I'm a muscular girl and I love, <laughs> and I, and like her and I both have like that same mentality, like let's lift each other up and just be badass women. Mm -hmm. And so I just remember like from the moment we locked up in the match, I was like, Ooh, this is going to be good. Like, we're going to, we're going to kill it. So those two definitely stick out to me at the most. And I would definitely love to wrestle those girls again, because I just, I felt like I learned so much when I wrestled with them. Yeah, and that's what and I'm remember, looking for. Yeah, and I remember watching those two matches and they were so good. And I think AEW Dark as a whole is such a good show because you see those it hidden is. gems. It's so much fun to watch. And you, you see like those fun moments, you see those like kind of serious matches, but overall it's just, it's really just cool to see those hidden gems, like I said. And I yeah. do want to transition into your BJJ background, which you showcase a yeah. lot in, in your matches. So when it comes to BJJ, how does that give you like a bigger advantage than your opponents in the ring? 
So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so it's kind of crazy because like I got into martial arts because I was afraid to get into wrestling because my mom wasn't mm-hmm. the biggest fan of it. So I was like, all right, let me do something else so I can like scratch the itch and stuff like that. And I was in it for like almost six years. So um, I feel like for me, it just really helps me with my aggression in the ring. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, a lot of people will throw strikes and kicks, but it's the way you throw them that makes them so unique and, and stand out. Um, and I feel like because I got the chance to experience um, striking and mat wrestling in a, in a different format before I came into wrestling, I felt like that just added a different element to it. And mm-hmm. so despite how tall I am and how big I am, it's not something people expect from me because you look at me and you think I'm just going to pick girls up and slam them a bunch, a bunch of times and just be big and strong. But then when those moments present themselves and I can outmaneuver you and out wrestle you and, and get those little strike combos in, it, I think it surprises people because they're like, Oh, I wouldn't expect that from her. But because I was able to have that before wrestling, it was able to add into that. So that way I could add a little bit more element because I love, I love having that, that fight and, and, and the movement keep going. So being able to insert that is like, it's, it's the best. Yeah. And BJJ is such a huge stepping stone for so many pro wrestlers from going to yeah. like the mat to in the ring. And I want and to go back to your pro. A lot yeah, of wrestlers I've, do it now too. Just I like feel like even... everybody does it. I feel like that's the new trend with yeah. becoming a pro wrestler, <laughs> like going into BJJ first. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> It's just a good, it's like, I mean, even if it's not something that you need, it's just a good workout. So yeah, a lot. Of, yes. I've, I've noticed a lot of wrestlers like just do it on their off weeks. Like they just go train and it's, and it's great. Mm-hmm. And I want to jump back into your pro wrestling career and you are known as the king of pro wrestling. So what does it take to wear that crown with confidence like you do and be the king of pro wrestling? So I think to wear the crown, you just got to know who you are and mm-hmm. own it 110%. Um, if you go to my Twitter, I actually have a promo that's pinned at the top and it kind of is like my origin story promo. So I grew up, um, like I, I kind of uh, dabbed at it earlier. I grew up with five brothers and I watched wrestling mm-hmm. with all of them and I was obsessed with it at a young age, but my mother was not the biggest fan. So I kind of kept to myself and I was like, okay, yeah, no, I won't, I won't think about it. I won't do it. Um, and so like, I, I found my, I don't know, I was kind of like this awkward, quiet kid and mm-hmm. like, but yet I was kind of outgoing at the same time. So like, I would always watch like Wonder Woman and like all these strong, really awesome female characters. Mm-hmm. And I would always want to be like them, but I would never like actually go the extra step and do that, which was kind of strange because I was always like this big girl compared to all my friends. And so I just remember like the moment I stepped into wrestling, and like finally overcame all of that and just said, I'm going to do it. I can't daydream about this anymore. That was when that strong woman that I always watched and wanted to be just finally started coming out of me. And so like, we all know that for a while I was the queen of crazy. Um, mm-hmm. Cause I wasn't a hundred percent there. I wasn't hundred percent sure who I was yet. But then one day I realized I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, why am I calling myself the queen when I'm literally a king? Like it's in the name. And I have the attitude. I was like, I walk around and I want to be the best of wrestling. What's the top? What's the top of the food chain? The king. I'm already yes. a king. So let's own that and do that. So I think being a king is just owning who you are and saying like, I'm the best version of myself. So therefore, I am the king. It's kind of like the the mindset for me. Like I, I, a lot of people joke, like, how are how can you call yourself the king? You're a girl. Okay, okay, but it's a mindset. It's, it's a way of living. It's, a, it's the way you think and hold yourself. Yeah, and I think the pro wrestling world definitely sees you be the king of pro wrestling. And okay. also, speaking of when you were used to be the queen of crazy, where is yeah. Roger? I would like to know, where is Roger? <laughs> so Roger, like, he went through some trauma, man. Like, I used to bring him everywhere with me, and then he was at a show with me, and he got his ear ripped out. I, I think I remember seeing this or you telling me about this. Yeah. So like I, I used to bring him in there with me. He was my little, my little comfort blanket or whatever you like to call it. 
And then finally one day I was just like, I can't bring him with me anymore. He's getting all beat up and his ears getting ripped out. So he's retired. He's no longer taking bumps, but okay. <laughs> well, it's good to hear. Cause I was thinking yeah. about it today. I was like, Oh, I wonder like if she still has the bunny. Cause if she does, that's like really cool. And I was like, does she like take it like to AEW? I like, so. Oh no, no. He's never been to AEW, <laughs> but I do still have him. He's, he's over there somewhere among the boxes but among the yeah, boxes. yeah yeah <laughs> among the boxes yeah but um yeah he he was just like a starting stone to f- kind of find my confidence and he he was great for a while but like I said he needed to retire and and I needed to evolve and so we went from the queen of crazy with the quirky little bunny rabbit to the king and I think it's I think it's going pretty well yeah and I I kind of miss Roger but I love you being the king of pro wrestling because it's you. such an Maybe interesting and fun them. character yeah, Maybe you should. For the future, pay a little ocean like, or something. <laughs> I feel like you should bring him out the next dark episode. If you could. I don't know. You gotta go through like confirmation or anything. But I feel like you could bring him out. We'll see. I'll talk I to think... I'll see what they say. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I also want to give you the opportunity to plug in like any social media, you know, upcoming shows you have, you know. Yeah. The floor um, is yours. <laughs> so uh I I make it pretty easy. My Twitter and my Instagram are both at Kylie King. Um, I do have a Facebook, but I'm not on it that often because people on Facebook are weird a lot of the time. Uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, I will be getting a pro wrestling tease soon. Um, yeah. It's not up yet. It's not up yet because I'm still waiting for my t-shirt design to come in. But mm-hmm. when that's up, I will put that in all my social media links so you guys can have access to it. We're going to get a bunch of cool designs on there. So yeah. I'm excited to see these t-shirts because I know I like pro wrestling tees is like like the whole world of pro wrestling shirts <laughs> I know girl your t-shirt blows up on there all the time uh, yeah I want to get some new t-shirt that's, that's designs how we met. Can... yeah that's how we yeah met I, for, okay. um geez, or no I'm sorry not GCW uh Sweetwater nerds no nerds nerds we met well I nerds remember I remember we you okay I remember how we met well like one like way we met you had to film the ugly ducklings video where they tried meeting me that was so funny and like the next I think like the next show I realized I was like oh wait she's the girl who filmed the video (laughs) I totally forgot that I filmed that I know yeah yeah. oh yeah because I just I just tagged with a Cade versus mm-hmm. Serpentico and, and Aspen Rose. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot that you were at the show. That was a, that that was was a fun show. Day. I yeah, know, that, that was. was a show. But oh. I was, I, it's so crazy just to talk about like the past and like being on like the same shows. Like this is like kind of weird and cool at, all at the same time. All it's nostalgic as people like to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show today. I had such a great time talking about AEW, you know, you. old shows and being the king of pro wrestling. The king. Yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> and thank you so much again I like I said I had such a great time thank you me too it's always good to see you yes you too and thank you guys for tuning into this episode of the hot tag with your girl Izzy and Kylan King I will see you guys next time